First, we are going to make the front side of the card again. To begin, make a slip knot and chain 32. It is equal 8 inches width. If you guys want the cardigan bigger, please add more chains. Next, after you got 32 chains, then we are going to make half the ball crochet. To begin, skip 2 chains and start from the 3rd chain. To make half the ball crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now, you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into every stitches until the end of the roll and I will meet you back again. After you reach the end of the roll, next, roll 2, chain 2, turn your work, make half the ball crochet into every stitches until the end of the roll and I will meet you back again. For the next row, we are going to repeat row 2 until you reach row 25. It is equal 8.5 inches length. If you guys want the cardigan longer, please add more rows. And now, after you got 25 rows, next, we are going to make the v-neck. Start from row 26, chain 2, turn your work, make half the ball crochet into every stitches until you have 2 last stitches, and we are going to make the crease. So chain 2 here, it doesn't count as a stitch.
to make half the ball crochet decrease, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Remember, chain 2 here, we doesn't count as a stitch. Row 27, chain 2, turn your work, make half the ball crochet into every stitches until the end of the row, and I will meet you back again. For the next row, we are going to repeat row 26 and row 27 until you reach row 35. It is equal 5 inches width. It is the size of my shoulder. If you guys want it smaller, please make more decreasing roll. And if you guys want it bigger, please make less decreasing roll. Remember, chain 2 here, we doesn't count as a stitch. I recommend that when you decrease until you reach your shoulder size, please stop decreasing and make no more half the ball crochet roll until you reach the height of the cardigan that you want. And now, after I reach row 35, it is equal 5 inches width, it's the size of the shoulder that I want. Then, I stop decreasing and make a normal half the ball crochet roll, start from row 36 until row 46. I make it a little bit long because I want a deep v-neck.
so the total length of the front side equal 15.5 inches like i said if you guys want the cardigan longer please add more rows next we are going to make the back side of the cardigan it is the same thing as the front side to begin make 62 chains then make half the ball crochet into every stitches for 44 rows it is equal 14.5 inches length then we are going to make the shoulder part to begin count 21 stitches away from both edges so chain 2 here we doesn't count as a stitch then use stitch marker to mark the next stitch remember you must have the same number of the stitches with the front side at row 45 so at row 45 of the front side we have 21 stitches include the decreasing stitch for the back side you must count the same number of the stitches next start from where your last stitches row 45 chain 2 turn your work and make half the bow crochet into every stitches until you have two last stitches and we are going to make half the bow crochet decrease like the front side row 46 chain 2 turn your work make half the ball crochet into every stitches until the end of the row then chain 1 and cut off the yarn And now, after you got two rows of the shoulder pad, it is equal 1 inches high and 5 inches width. Make sure the front shoulder and the back shoulder have the same length. Next, we are going to make the second shoulder pad. To begin, attach the yarn and repeat row 45 and row 46.
Next, we are going to make the sleeves. To begin, make a slip knot and chain 52. It is equal 12 inches length. It is the size around my arm. If you guys want the sleeve bigger, please add more chains. Row 1, skip 2 chains and we are going to make half the ball crochet into every stitches until the end of the row and I will meet you back again. Row 2, chain 2, turn your work and make half the ball crochet into every stitches until the end of the row. Row 3, chain 2, turn your work. And we are going to make half the ball crochet into every stitches until you have one last stitches. Then we are going to make increase for the sleeve. To make increase here, we are going to make two half double crochet into the same stitch. For the next row, we are going to repeat row 3 until you reach row 12. It is equal 4 inches high. If you guys want the sleeve longer, please add more rolls. And if you guys want the size around upper arm more expand, please make more half the ball crochet into the increasing stitch. Example, make three half the ball crochet into the same stitch at the beginning of the row and the end of the row. This is in case that you guys want the sleeve more expand at the upper arm part. Next, we are going to connect front side and the back side together. Then connect the sleeves. Fold the sleeve into two pieces and use stitch marker to mark the middle part.
I am going to use slip stitch mat hole to connect both sides together. To begin, attach the yarn. Chain 1 Insert the hook into both loops Yarn over and pull through all the loops Repeat this into every stitches until the end of the roll Chain 1 and cut off the yarn You guys can use other mat hood like sewing or something that more easier than this It's optional
after you have connected everything together then turn the cardigan right side out Next, we are going to make the border around the neckline and make the front tie for the cardigan. To begin, attach the yarn. Chain 1 and we are going to make single crochet. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into every stitches until you reach the corner. And now, after you have reached the corner, then we are going to make 81 chains. It is the length of the front tie string. If you want the string longer, please add more chains. Next, after you got the length that you want, then we are going to skip one chain and make slip stitch. To make slip stitch, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into every stitches until the end of the row and I will meet you back again. And now, after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to make single crochet into the same stitch at the corner part. Next, make single crochet into every stitches around the neckline until you reach the other side corner.
and now after you reach the corner chain 81 and repeat the same thing as the other side For the last stitch here, I'm going to make slip stitch Then chain 1 and cut off the yarn Next, we are going to make ruffle edge. To begin, attach the yarn. Chain 2. And we are going to make double crochet into the same stitch with chain 2. To make double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through of two loops. And yarn over, pull through of two loops again. For the next stitch, we are going to make three double crochet into the same stitch. And now, after you got 3 double crochet into the same stitch, for the next stitch, we are going to make 2 double crochet into the same stitch. Because I don't want the sleeve look too much ruffle, so I made 1 stitch with 3 double crochet and 1 stitch with 2 double crochet. Repeat this into every stitches around the sleeve and I will meet you back again.
And now after you reach around the sleeves, for the last stitch, I'm going to make the ball crochet decrease. Then slip stitch, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Then we are going to repeat the same thing into the other sleeves and the edge around the cardigan. For the ruffle edge around the cardigan, start from the left side by attaching the yarn, chain 2 and repeat the same thing like the sleeves. For the last stitch, we are going to chain 2 and slip stitch, chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to embroider the flower. If you are new with this, I recommend you to try on the other fabric first, so it doesn't ruin your cardigan in case when you did it wrong. For every petals, you have to start from the center and end with any direction that you choose. It doesn't have to be too perfect, some are small, some are big, it's okay.
And now your ruffle cardigan with little flower embroidery is done. If you guys like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on notification bell so you will notify when I post the video. And I hope you guys enjoy doing this at home. Please stay safe and stay healthy. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.